Hey, what's going on guys? Mark back in the workshop on Mark's Aquatics. We've had a nice little collaboration here with NT Labs. They've sent me two amazing kits. One of them is the Marine Lab here, which we test for ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, and pH as well, okay? We've got 155 tests in there combined, as you can see on the box. And I'm looking forward to getting into this and doing some tests on that little Fluval um, Evo 100, uh, 52 litre, sorry. Uh, so we can do some tests in that and make sure our water is nice and healthy for our little inhabitants that live in there. Right, let's get into this box. Right then, what I've done is I've taken all the stickers now. We had a little sticker pack with that as well. And to speed things up, what I thought I'd do is take them off and stick them all on to these little vials here, which I've rinsed out already, as you can see, with some tank water. I put a pH sticker on the top and one around the middle as well. And that goes into the corresponding side here. We've got the NO3 as well, we've got the NO2, and we've got the ammonia, okay, nitrate and nitrite. So everything's great. It couldn't be simpler to follow this, guys, okay? It really couldn't. It's a very, very simple test kit to use. I know a lot of people get tongue-twisted and tied up with these tests. Some of them are more elaborate than others. But this is an absolutely amazing little kit. It really is for these saltwater aquariums. As you can see on the box there, if I just tip it upright, you've got the ammonia test kit there. All you need to do... Sorry, my mic dropped off there. You need to have... One mil, you've got your one mil little syringe there, which you take out of your out of your sample. Put one mil into the uh, into the vial. Add five drops of reagent number one, five drops of reagent number two, and five drops of reagent number three. Give it a little swirl around. Wait for ten minutes, and then you eyeball the colour to the chart, which is up here. And we want a nice yellow on that one. We want a clear on that one. We want a clear on that one. On the uh, on the nitrite, the nitrate. And with a bit of luck, I'll get an 8.2 on the pH test as well, okay? Because that's what my system's running at. The little tank's running at at the moment. So um, obviously we haven't got any fish or anything in there at the moment. We're just feeding it very, very lightly just to, uh, to get all them little corals and everything settled in. Obviously there's living creatures in the tank um, which are producing little minor bits of, uh, of ammonia and different things in their waste. There's worms that live in the rocks and all this kind of stuff. So... We've got to take all those little things into account, but it's a fully cycled little tank now. And um, I just put in some very, very powdered food. I've been using the um, the reef snow, which they sent me as well, okay? The reef snow, which is a lovely micro, very, very fine particulate food, which you just take a little, little bit of, and you just stir it into the tank water, okay? And that disperses throughout the tank, and that feeds your corals. But obviously it's a food, so it's gonna create phosphates and nitrates and things like that. But once a tank gets established, it should knock all these out and filter it out with that little skimmer and everything going and the filter is nice and cycled very, very well, which is hopefully that's going to pan out in these tests. So I think what I think I'll do is set all this up and we'll do some testing. Right, okay guys, I've set it all up for you now, so it's a little bit more less time consuming on the old video here. As you can see, we got the ammonia. We got the nitrite, we got the nitrate, and we got the pH. Now we need to put one mil of your aquarium water into the uh, ammonia vial there, and five mil in each. And you do that with your little syringe there. I've taken my sample out of the tank with my little vial there, which ho holds the water, my little whatever you call them. I used to think it's made for brewing, I think but I got one of these a while back and they're quite handy for doing different things in, among, in your aquarium. And we've got the one mil little pipette there as well, which you dip in and suck it up to one mil, which is there, okay? So we've done that. We've got the water in all of these now, one mil, five mil, five mil, and five mil. So now all you do is you just follow the instructions on the box, okay? So we've got reagent number one. Give that a little swirl before you put it into the vial and we want five drops of one, five drops of two and five drops of three. Five of number one. Five of number two. five of number three and then we cap it off 
use two hands mark it's a lot easier then we just give that a little swirl around mix those reagents together and it says on the box there wait for 10 minutes okay so while we're doing that we can pop that back in there and we can get on to the nitrate test kit sorry the nitrite test kit which is five mil of water and just five drops of the only reagent with that one so five of those guys in there put that there cap him off give that a little swirl backwards and forwards like so and pop that one back in there and that one says wait for 10 minutes then we've got nitrate which is how many drops have we got there six drops of each of those six of number one six of number two Thought I was going to miss that one then, didn't you? <laughs> okay, cap him off as well. Mix them up. And replace that back into there. And we've got the pH, which is the last one there. And that is... What does that say on the box there? Five drops of that one as well. So we can put that one back in there, cap that one off, give that one a little swirl backwards and forwards and that one you can read straight away. So we can go straight in there and by that, looking at that, we are at 8.2 I would say on that one, which is where I want to be on the pH, about 8.2 is fine. Excellent stuff. So now we've got to wait a little bit and while I'm doing that, I'm going to have my coffee, I think. If you're new to the old channel, guys, hit the old subscribe button if you like these videos and that notification bell for up and coming videos. And you won't miss any that way. And you can keep in the loop with what's been going on. And you can also go back and look at the Fluval Evo 52 litre um, nano aquarium, which we set up a few weeks back now. And it's coming along in leaps and bounds. I'll show you a little bit of footage at the end of this of the, of the tank so you can see how it's coming on, okay? Right, okay guys, it has been five minutes and now we can look at the results and see what we got. Okay, on the ammonia, as you can see against the white background there, we've got a nice yellow colour corresponding with the chart. That's got the tick and that's what we want. That means we've got no, we've got zero ammonia in that system, none whatsoever. Then we've got the nitrite. Looks pretty clear to me. Nothing in there whatsoever as well. And um, we've got the nitrate. Very clear as well. So that is all good signs. And a pH, like I said, of 8.2. So the system is running absolutely spot on, which is, which is good. We haven't got to make any changes at all. We, water changes are fine at the moment. It's not due one for another, probably another week, 10 days. So all the levels are looking great. Now, if you had a different level on the ammonia, as you can see, there's an exclamation mark there. And down to the skulls, which are lethal. We don't want that. And as wise on all the other, um, all the other um, tests as well, as you can see there, where you want to be. And it all depends on the ranges and different things that you want to keep fish at as well. And But with this saltwater one, these are the, these are the areas where we want to be and it's a really simple easy test kit to use i'm pretty chuffed with it it's got marks of aquatic seal of approval that is for sure really happy with that and i shall be uh, telling my friends about it that's for sure they can go and pick themselves one up and i think i'll have a look and see if these i'm not sure if these are available yet on on amazon i, I will go and have a look and if they are i'll put a link in the description below where you can pick one up if not you can go down to your local shops or via NT Labs and uh, pick yourself up one of these test kits. So I think they're absolutely fantastic. We're going to get into the other test kit on another video with parameters. Obviously the KH, the magnesium, calcium and the phosphates 
we'll get into those on another on another video okay but now you guys know how to cycle your tank how to test your parameters to get them right with this magic little test kit oh, there you go guys there's a nice little picture of the evo glowing away beautifully growing away nice everything looking great as you can see on the back there we've got that big finger coral which has gone absolutely loopy i'm going to have to take that out of there because it's going to be overgrowing the tank in no time at all it's reached the surface now and um i think i'm going to put that one back out in the coral room i put that in there just to start off with but i think we're going to concentrate more on the different corals we can start adding some more things in later on and tidying it up and putting in some different species as we go along which is going to be really interesting anyway i'll show you some nice little close-ups now and then we'll call this one a day, I think. Oh, well, guys, what a, a lovely little test kit that is. Like you say, you've got all the little range of tests in there, all in one box. Couldn't be any simpler. Fit that straight into your cabinet, and you've got no worries at all. And you can make sure your fish stay nice and healthy, and all your creatures and critters that live in amongst your little sea, saltwater aquariums stay nice and safe. Anyway, guys, hope you like that little video. As always, you're all stars. Thanks again for NT Labs for sponsoring me all this stuff. We're going to get into the other test lab on the next video where we're going to be testing for magnesium, phosphate, calcium and all the other great things which we need to keep a healthy little reef system. Anyway guys, as always, you're all stars, love you loads, take care and I will see you on the next episode of Mark's Aquatics. Bye for now. Just me and my guitar.